Hello, welcome. Question number three. An open cylindrical tank is fixed on a flat square concrete slab of a side 8 meters. The diameter and the height of the tank are 7 meters and 12 meters respectively. So if a painter charges 30 dollars per square meter, how much will it cost to paint the outside of the tank and part of the slab northward covered? All right. Now with this, uh, if we do have enough space, I will have love to make a sketch. But if I have a cylindrical tank, so this might look like what it's supposed to be. So if you are going to paint this, uh, you are going to paint the whole of the 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 cylinder then you are going to paint the areas here also but you will not be painting where the cylinder will be sitting on so that particular area will also not be covered then the bottom area of the cylinder will also be missing because we can't lift it paint the under before place it down then we have been told it is also open so it means that the top is open the down is open the only area left for us to paint is going to be the curved surface area. So I will first begin with a uh, curved surface area. Can I say uh, area of C equals to 2 pi r word h, which is the, the height is going to be the h, then the, the curved surface area, which is the surrounding the circumference, that's 2 pi word. Ah. So now what do we do? We just do substitution and say our AC is going to be 2 times 22, 7 times radius. We don't know the radius, we only know the diameter. And radius is what? Diameter over 2. So 7 divided by 2 times the height, which is going to be 12 centimeters. We know that from the question. Alright. No, I think that will be 7 and 12. So what do we do? I can see that these two will cancel this, this seven will cancel this. I should be left with only 22 times 12. And uh, if you find that on our calculator, that will give you 264 meter word squared. The meter squared is coming from seven meters times 12 meters. All right, what next to look at? So we know the area of the cylindrical part is going to be painted. Now, we also need to know the one that will be painted. It is the remaining of where the cylinder is sitting. So, where the cylinder is sitting, we need to take it out from the total area of the surface. So, I am going to find area of what? The, flat, the slab, okay? Which is a square. So, the length times what? Length. 8 meters by what? 8 meters and that to be 64 meter square so if the cylinder is not sitting on this this will have been the area were covered but the bottom of the cylinder is sitting on that place which is covering the area of the base so i need to know area of what of base of cylinder right which is uh, pi r squared, because the base is the circle. So that will mean that I should be having 22 on 7 times um, 7 over 2 times 7 over 2 is a square. So I'm doing that in order to cancel. I can see that this 7 will cancel this. This 2 will cancel this to be 11. So I should be having... 77 divided by what? 2. And if you find that, you should be having 38.5 meter square. So this is the area of the base. This is the area of the slab. So we are now going to find the area of the uncovered part of the square. Yeah, of the square. So what will it be? We can say area 
the area, the slab not covered, is going to be, um, what will it be? The area of the slab, the actual area, which is 64 meters squared, minus the area of the supposed base, which is going to be 38.5 meters squared. Then if you perform that subtraction, we should be left with 25.5 meter square. So what do we know now? This is the area we are going to apply the paint to. And this is also the area we are going to apply the paint to. So what is the total area that the paint is going to cover? That is what is next to find. So from here, we need to find total area painted which is going to be area of C, then minus what? Area of what? Slab not covered. Let me just go ahead and have uh, equals to 264 meter square plus 25.5 meter square. When you put that in the calculator, you have 289.5 meters what? Square. <coughs> now, we know the total area covered then we need to know the cost of painting when one meter is what well, one square meter is 30 dollars so if i'm painting 289.5 square meters it means i am doing 30 meters into this number of places so total number of all uh, total cost of painting that is going to be equals to the $30 per square meter times uh, 289.5 meters. And if you multiply that, you should be having $8,685. So this is some of the calculations that as an artisan you can also apply. Mathematics is beautiful when we understand each con uh, concept in the areas that we find ourselves in. So this is the total cost of paint that the areas that if I'm painting, uh, you want to charge somebody and you are using the square uh, square meter to charge the painting, then this is what we are going to end up receiving. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and come back to question four.